Now when you first start out in photography, you might find it really difficult to shoot through windows or reflective surfaces. So in order to go ahead and correct this, you're actually gonna be needing a CPL, which is a circular polarizer filter. So CPL's main purpose is to remove unwanted light streaks, which is what's gonna help you actually reduce those reflections, whether if it's through shooting a window or maybe you're trying to shoot a nice body of water that has stream highlights, CPL will actually be able to help and cut through that for you. And the first time I used it, I was honestly like super amazed by it and honestly really shocked too because I had a hard time always taking pictures of bodies of water and this actually made it a lot easier. Now I did mention that the CPL cuts reflections and this is where you have to make that creative decision. So the subject that you're shooting, do you wanna go ahead and cut some of those reflections out or do you wanna leave those reflections in to add depth to your photo? It really depends on how you're wanting to present your subject. So ultimately you have to make that decision. Now the next one we're gonna be talking about is haze. Haze can end up affecting the overall clarity of your image. Now what the CPL will do to help correct this is actually add contrast to your photo. So if you have a subject that's like super far away, this will actually go ahead and make it seem like it's much sharper and much more rich in color. So I decided to move spots. I wasn't really feeling the other one. Um, I don't know, maybe I just get a little nervous when I'm vlogging because there's a lot of people passing by. But I found this super neat area because there's a big giant like kind of like lake here and it's frozen. Well, part of it's frozen, but it looks really beautiful. So this will make for some really good photos with the CPL and also maybe even video. Okay, so I found a bench to go ahead and chill out for a little bit, but let's go ahead and talk about color. Now, CPO is also going to help boost the greens and your blues in your photos tremendously. However, you do have to be a little careful with this. And the reason for that is because you actually have to face away from your light source at a 90 degree angle. If not, you're gonna end up getting some like really weird blue spots in your sky. The gradient's gonna be uneven, and overall, it's just gonna look very amateurish. Okay, now as far as a CPL, do you absolutely need one? I think every landscape photographer should have one in their camera bag. I I use Polar Pro. I don't have it on my camera all the time, but it does come out on those unique occasions. I can also imagine portrait photographers using this on rare occasions and also automotive photographers because it will remove a lot of those reflections from the vehicle. So absolutely, I do definitely think you need one. All right, and that is pretty much on the whole CPL. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, stay creative, my friend.